Barberry Sheep Hunt in New Mexico. And uh, it's the first morning. We got a decent spot to camp. And <clears throat> we didn't bring any rain gear. But it's like freezing rain going on right now. I don't know if you can see. Yeah. And visibility is okay, but it's kind of sprinkling ish. Yeah, we got a neighbor pulled up on us in the middle of the night, or like at 4 a.m. So, kudos for those guys for uh, getting up earlier than us. But, yeah, it's not fun out there. So, anyway. A little chilly out there. Right, Shane? It's a train. Yesterday was rough, <laughs> to say the least. Ice, wind, cold, freezing rain, all the good stuff. Um, and uh, basically what you saw yesterday kind of summed it up. So we moved camp, got a new spot and a better central location to a lot of access points. And we will see what this, this spot holds. So we'll keep you tuned in. Good glass and stick. We got sheep, baby. Yeah. Shane spot them across the way, but they're a ways off, but there's some, looks like some good rams in there. Let's see if I can get them in here. Well, kind of bummed. We uh, saw probably over 20 sheep. Half of them ended up getting spooked by nothing. Got up top and they were all gone. Gave us a slip. And we've been hiking all around, can't find them anywhere. So, we're gonna start looking for sheep again. That's hunting. That's what you're looking for. That is sheep poop. They look like little peas. They're not elongated like deer, but uh, pretty interesting. So, you see this, might be in the right area. Day three now. Unfortunately, we hiked all over that area that the sheep disappeared on us. Well, yesterday we did 10 miles and today we may do more. I don't know. <laughs> but all that matters is we get an opportunity at a sheep. So we're going to get back there. If anything, <clears throat> it's isolated. So 
Um, if we don't find that group of sheep, there could be more, so. So we've done five miles. And we might be going a lot more, so we'll see what uh, we get the energy to do. So, anyway, hopefully we'll find some sheep. to find some though we're many many miles in we got all the way around those what we thought ewes and babies and we saw actually a couple more what looked like rams and uh, probably like 20 inch rams and couldn't really tell they were rams when they were bedded you know we're looking for something bigger but um but yeah once once we saw that they were young rams uh, they kind of hopped up and kind of took off so anyway we uh, started hiking out of there and ran up on hunter after hunter so we're gonna get out of here and uh, probably call it a day we've got a lot of miles to get back so we'll probably be coming back in the dark tonight but it's part of hunting 15.29 15.29 miles. We still got a ways to go. Yep. We'll get there all night long. The moonlight. <laughs> Day four. Sheep update. It's day four, right? I think so. Day four. <laughs> no sheep on the ground. Uh, we got out obviously late last night and did 17 miles. We're gonna go discover a little bit, do a little bit of road hunting, but we wanna really get as deep as we physically can in the truck and then put in some miles, yeah. just like all these other guys are doing, so. Just trying to hunt smarter, not harder. <laughs> yeah, so see what we run into. Thankfully, we've run into sheep each day, which is awesome, but yeah, we've been working harder than everybody else is, so we're gonna go, uh, see if we can't learn a little bit about the area so we'll see what we find yeah. the wind is terrible which we expected uh, it's supposed to do 35 mile an hour wind and I don't know what the gusts are but they're enough to knock you over and uh, we're back here we drove about two hours in and we hiked in we're about seven miles hiked in and uh haven't seen anything but hunters so pretty frustrating to be way out here and have nothing to see so and getting wind blown so we're headed back toward the truck glassing as we go and see if we'll turn anything up but Hiking, we get the private property and some beautiful rams. Four, too cool. Catly size that thing. Beautiful. It is day five with Shane Zimmerman. We're not used to being in a truck driving around all day so it's gonna be hard not to get out and want to walk for miles but yeah we'll see but see the wind goes. will might just keep us in the truck a little bit more so yeah. anyway we'll see what we find well we're starting to get the consensus that all the sheep have been pushed into private property because we just found this other group of sheep also on private property Couple good rams in there. Pretty good size. Frustrating once again. 
Gotta find some on public. Couldn't help but start walking. I have glass sheep on the windiest day of the hunt. They are about three miles as a crow flies, so maybe four or five miles out here. Right there. Can't believe it, public land, but a long ways to go. So the concern is right now is will they be in the same spot after we make the long hike to get over there? We are in pursuit. We're down in the bottom. And we have a few miles ahead of us. But making good time out of the bottom. So let's see if we can get closer. Got one. Had a huge herd go over the ridge. We thought that was it. And this guy came out of nowhere in the bottom. Right over here. Maybe about 80 yards. Oh, yes. Success. Oh, so much work. Oh. And to crawl up this. Rocky Ravine, all the way from them, those big hills over there. Bumped one in the brush. Austin came up, found a bunch of them up there, and they smelled us, started taking over the hill. And then, right when he thought all hope was lost, this guy just came out of nowhere. Matt gave him the old 30 odd six sandwich. <laughs> Believe it. And I hate that I didn't get it on camera, but I just put a bullet my first barberry sheep, public land, and I am pumped. Uh, that was so awesome. It was the downs, the highs and the lows, insane. I mean, we've been working our butts off for this. I was just hoping for a decent ram and this thing's awesome. So, I'd like to thank uh, Shane here. For, uh, it's been a group effort to say the least. Still gotta get him one. Still got a few days to do it. But we are more than thrilled to have one on the ground. And I'd like to thank my wife Kristen for letting me come out here and do this. And thank the Lord for the blessing. Amen. Time to pack this sucker out of here. What we got? How many miles we got, Shane? You know? I don't know. I've got to check what it's the ways. Oh well. It's the it's the good pain. March of victory. March of victory, yes. What everybody hopes for. March of victory.
Jeep update, day six. Day six. We got our oatmeal. Anyway, we're gonna go back in, kind of the same general area. We got his in a few miles down the road to see if we can relocate some sheep over there and uh, see if we can get one more down today. Fill my tag and then we get packed up and head home. So anyway, that's the plan. Hike a lot, glass a lot. Here's this desert land. Pretty crazy. Not the biggest bull, but crazy to see a bull. Shane's probably gonna try to get a little afternoon hike in too. See if you can't get up on something and get one. So anyway, we're almost to the truck, so probably got about half a mile left. So hopefully we have something better to see this afternoon. So. Order seven. Day seven of the sheep hunt. We are headed back. Shane went out, so I had to go get ice last night. Shane went out to a spot we went to on day two, saw sheep on private property and came over, missed opportunity. And yesterday Shane went back out there to see if they were there and they were there. So didn't get an opportunity at a shot. So we're going back out there this morning and hopefully get those sheep on public land. Yeah. Matt and I just finished hiking to the furthest point, BLM, again, like always, and sure enough, that's where they're at. They've been pushed to the furthest point possible you can get to, at least the ones on public. And uh, anyway, he saw him, came over a ridge, I was like, down, down, sheep over the ridge, 130, got ready. Um, they were all together milling, grazing. It's hard to, uh, when I look through my scope, hard to see which one was a ram or you so uh we waited a little bit they looked like they were feeding towards us so we gave them a little time but they're going feeding towards us down and eventually uh as i moved closer try to get a better look um they spotted us and took off so then it was chaos <laughs> um, so then i'm sitting there trying to look through my not so great scope trying to pick out a ram with a bunch of sheep moving and uh fired missed they got further, what was it, 280, 260, yeah. fired again, missed, freehand, all freehand. And uh, eventually, as they got far away, closer to 500 yards, 
think Matt raids them five something. They stopped. And uh, at that point, I was able to get on my bag, get a good rest, and uh, fire again. We spotted the group once again. We're trying to get back on. Wearing these sheep out, chasing them all over the place. Sheep update. We got some sheep. Another group about a mile and a half away. We're making a stock on them right now. Hopefully we can get closer so she can get a shot. He fell. Is he down? He he's, fell. He's still going. Yeah, he's... Hold on. Let's go finish. Oh, not over yet. It's not over, but... He got a bullet Boy, in him. still going. <sighs> he did his shade. <laughs> I did again. What are you, they're 100 yards maybe? Yeah, maybe, maybe less. Yeah, we well, yeah. some high grass. Yeah, we did about a, what, a three mile stock. Ran oh. all the way, it was about a mile as the crow flies, did about three miles this all the way around. This is what I've been waiting for the whole time, <laughs> this stock. None of this walking 15 miles a day. Yeah, <laughs> we had one, two, maybe three different sightings of them yeah. and different opportunities to stalk. So this is what I've been <laughs> Uh, bow. Second tag filled. Thank you, Matt. It may not have been the big ram I wanted, but at this late in the season, any sheep will do, and it has been a hunt. Yeah, we only it had... It was a fantastic hunt. Uh, everything went perfect. We were chasing sheep all day. Yeah. Heck of this, a lot of fun. This you just happened to be on the closer side of my 30 out six. All right, well, got it done, day seven. Uh, a lot of work went into this hunt, well over 50 miles, and we're nine miles back right now. So got a lot of, a lot of work to do to get this sheep ready to get on the pack and head back. And uh, once again, it's a great hunt. Appreciate it, Matthew. And uh, thanks to my family for letting me do this. And had a, a lot of good time. A lot of frustration went into it though when he didn't see sheep, but it was well worth it. I'm glad uh, everybody kept me positive and motivated to stick with it because it was frustrating at some times, but today was amazing. So today was what it was all about. So anyway, until next time.